Hey guys, welcome back to Cloud and Stuff. Today I'm going to be doing a video that's kind of different. My October TBR books. Yes, books. I'm not really a reader, but for a while now, I kind of wanted to start reading overnight, read more books. It was on my vision board, you know. So, I'm going to read more. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to read more. It's a little stressful. I'm going to try to read more. And I figured, why am I procrastinating so much? I'll just do it now and get it over with and, you know, read, read, try reading. And at least you guys can keep up with me. And, you know, it goes with Claude Wheaton. So, some of the videos I'm reading this month... Well, two of the videos, well, not videos, two of the books I'm reading this month are more Halloween-inspired, two of them are not, and then one is an audiobook. So, I'll start off with my, you know, I'll switch off. So, I'll start off with the smallest book, and this is my non, one of my non-Halloween books. So, it's Anger Therapy, written by Lisa Engerhart. Oh, and by the way, this is not including any of the books I'm reading for my Club's Classroom series. Okay, now back to the TBR. By Lisa Engerhart and Karen Kefasidou. K- Hope I pronounced it right. And it's illustrated by R. W. Alley. So this is it. Um, and I'm really excited about reading this. It's anger can be pain. I'll read the back. Anger can be painful and powerful emotion that leaves you feeling helpless, defeated, and immobile. Here, in clear and compelling language, is a con is a console guide to dealing effectively with your anger. Anger therapy shows you how to realize and resolve your anger, how to use your anger to learn about yourself, and how to turn its energy into a positive change. So this is what I'm going to read, and it's only 35 pages, and it's not a lot. So I'm hoping I can get through this really quickly, maybe in a night or two, because I want to start reading at night for like 15 minutes or whatever. Um. So yeah, I'm kind of going to be taking the Ben Carson route, Ben Carson's mom, if you didn't already know, only had a third grade education and her son is literally like a neurosurgeon and taught him just with a library card. So pretty amazing story. So I thought, you know, I should start reading and we'll see if it works. So yes. The next book is another, is my first Halloween book on this in here is by Nancy McGovern and Karen Bruce and it's A Cherry Sinister Murder. And this is A Slice of Paradise, Cozy Mysteries, book one. So, it's about a girl. Her name is Faith Franklin, is a dreamer. She dreams of cakes, pies. She dreams of crepes and brownies. And more than anything, she dreams of making a career of serving her delicious treats to an enduring public. So, when her grandmother calls and asks her to move to Florida to help her run her cafe, she cannot help out a Hop, get out of Minnesota fast enough. And before she knows it, she is standing in Paradise Point. She, the beautiful Oceanside Plaza in which Bessie's Cafe is located, hardly able to believe her, her good fortune. Life is now exactly how Faith had always imagined it. She made, she made wonderful friends. The cafe now renamed Slice of Paradise. Slice of Paradise, has been renovated to showcase her amazing desserts, and everyone is loving it. Well, almost everyone. The owner of a nearby cupcake shop is not at all happy when Faith's arrival in Paradise Point. She has accused Faith of trying to ruin her, to ruin her by stealing her recipes and designs, and she is not shy about letting everyone know it. So when the woman is found dead the day after their con- their confrontation, people immediately begin to consider whether Faith is the killer? Is Faith guilty of murder? If not, who is? And can Faith find a way to clear her name before her dreams turn to nightmares? Find out in Cherry Sinister Murder, the first book in the new series, Slice of Paradise, Cozy Mysteries, by the number two best-selling author, Nancy McGovern, and talented newcomer, Karen Bruce. How good does that sound? Super duper Halloween, I feel. I mean, not really, but it's murder, which is like Halloween. Baking, which if you guys don't know, I love baking. So I'm super duper excited to read this. 
but it's pretty thick and I have a lot of other books here too. So that's a little scary. My next one is my audiobook, which I'm just going to count as one of my non-Halloween ones, which I love. If you guys don't know, I'm really into politics. If you follow me on Instagram, you know. So I'm going to be listening to Blackout by Candace Owens. And I've already kind of started it, chapter one, and I'm obsessed already. So, yes, I'm excited about that one. Then we're going to move on to my next one of these. So this is actually an older book. I just never read it, read it before. And I did watch the Babysitter's Club series. I watched the movie. So I'm really excited about this. And if you guys don't know, I was not named after Claudia. I was named after St. Claudia, but her name is Claudia. <laughs> so I figured this is like the perfect book. And it's Claudia and the Phantom Phone Calls. And it just says, Christy, Claudia, and Marianne and Stacey have had some strange adventures since they started the Babysitter's Club. But nothing's been as spooky as what's going on right now. The Babysitter's have been getting mysterious phone calls when they're out on their jobs. When a phone rings and they pick up, there's no one on the other end of the line. Claudia Short, the phantom phone caller, a jewelry, a jewelry thief who's been operating in the area. Claudia's always liked reading mysteries, but she doesn't like it when the when they happen to her. So she and the babysitters decide to take action with some very mixed results. I'm super duper excited about this one. Um, I think it should be really good. It's not too thick, but it has. 14 chapters, and it is the original Babysitter's Club. You can even see, like, the pages are even, like, have the, like, staining around them. But I'm really excited about reading this. My label maker, my name is in the back. And then last but not least, my last book I'll be reading this month, and just looking at this pile, it's super duper daunting. I'm like, oh, I nearly read one book a month? Never mind. Four plus an audiobook, so I'm super scared, but you guys are going to help me. So my last one, which actually, now that I think of it, is actually kind of Halloween-y. It's about time travel and history, but not really. Whatever, it's fun. Um, and this also kind of has a little bit of politics in it, too, which is nice. So it's a rush review in the first Patriots, time travel adventures with, with exponential Americans by Rush Limburg. I'm really excited about this one. I've also had these books for a while, and um, they've always seemed really daunting to me. I've had them since I was like five, but honestly, how is a five-year-old supposed to read this? I don't know. Um, so I'm excited to read it now. So it says, Go back in time to experience the first rumblings of American independence and ask the people who were there. What does freedom mean to you? Why do you want to break away from Britain's rule? What if some colonists don't feel the same? How much are your taxes? King George III, why are you treating the colonies so unfairly? What was the secret signal that led to the Boston Tea Party? Why do people yell treason when Patrick Henry spoke? Find out here in Rush Revere and the First Patriots. I'm super excited about this one. So yes, so that is my October 2020 TBR. So thanks for watching this video. Remember to subscribe to my channel, become part of my Cloud Squad, and notifications so you get notified whenever I post a new video. Follow me on Instagram at Cloud underscore and underscore stuff, and on TikTok at Cloud stuff. Bye guys, Mwah. Cloud out.